Hey guys, Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to add an outline or border effect to your shape block in Squarespace. I wish that this was something that's built in. It's not. So I've come to the rescue with some simple copy and paste CSS. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I'm just working in a test 7.1 fluid engine site. This is what the shape blocks are available in. They're not available in Squarespace 7.0 and they're not available in the classic editor. So only 7.1 Fluid Engine. 7.1 Fluid Engine sections look a bit like this. So if you see this grid and this add block button, you are good to go. If you're not sure what the difference is, we'll link some videos below so you can understand the difference between all of the different versions of Squarespace. But this is 7.1 Fluid Engine. And one of the amazing new blocks they've brought out recently is the shape block. So it's basically just a shape that you can adjust. If you double click on it to open up the settings, you can choose different shapes. You can choose whether it stretches out to the container that you set or if it stays in its ratio that you've chosen. You can change the color and even add custom colors, which is really cool. And you can even add a drop shadow, including changing the color of the drop shadow. So we actually have a whole video on this. There's tons we can do, which is super fun. But the one thing that they don't have in here, which I find a little bit crazy, is adding a border. So we can have this sort of solid drop shadow, but there's no option for us to add a border. So if you did want to add a border to your shapes, we need to use custom CSS. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. It's pretty simple. Most of it you'll just be able to copy and paste from our blog post. So I will link the blog post with the copy and paste codes below this video, or you can just type them out from the video if you want to. It should be pretty simple. I'm actually going to go ahead and add a couple of different shapes just so I can show you the differences of targeting one shape versus targeting different shapes. Okay, so I've got my three shapes and we're going to go to design custom CSS. And what I'm going to do now is paste in this code. So it's svg dot sqs dash shape so that is targeting all of the shape blocks around the site then underneath i've got the stroke and a hex code so this is the color that i want the stroke to be at the moment it's set at hash 000000 which is the same as black or you could add in any hex code you want or you can type in basic colors like red or blue i could add in any hex color I wanted. So I'm just going to leave it as black for now. Then you can adjust the stroke width. So right now it's at one pixel. It does seem quite thick for one pixel. If we were using a border instead of a stroke, it wouldn't be quite this thick, I don't think. So if you did want to reduce it, you could change it to 0.5 or 0.7 and you can see that it does actually respond to those really small changes so feel free to adjust it to however you want and then we've got this overflow initial part that's really important to add because if we remove that you'll see that the actual stroke is cropped by the container that the block is in but if we re-add that overflow piece you'll see that that stroke now is free to essentially overflow its container and I'll quickly show you, if I click save on this and click edit, you can see that the actual stroke is in fact overflowing the container. You can see that it's outside the bounds of the container. So you'll just want to keep that in mind that the more border you add, so let's go ahead and say we'll add 20 pixels, so a really big fat border. Now the block is really overflowing its container. So you can see the blue line is the original block container there. So you just need to keep this in mind when you're working with this CSS code that it is actually going to extend out of the block and this might cause some overlapping issues with other things. It should be fine, but just keep it in mind. Unfortunately, we can't just use a simple border CSS code and keep things really simple because these are SVGs and these SVGs in Squarespace, these shape blocks don't work with just a simple border code. So we do have to use the stroke, which means we have to use this overflow, which means it's not 
perfect. We have this overflow and if we do adjust the screen size a little bit, sometimes you'll see that the border is actually not always perfectly even. So you can see on this triangle that these top two strokes are actually thicker than this bottom stroke and you'll see that this is overflowing outside of the page. So there are a few little tricky things about this way of coding it, but at the moment it's the only way to do it until Squarespace gives us a built-in option, which I'm hoping that they do soon. But for now, I think this is a really good option. So let me quickly show you how to actually target a specific block instead of all of the shape blocks on your site, because of course you might want to do that, or you might want to do different colors for different blocks or different um, widths for different blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Squarespace ID Finder. I'm going to link that below this video. This is a really great Chrome extension. You do need to be using Google Chrome as your browser, but you should be using Google Chrome anyway because that's what Squarespace recommends you edit in. So if you don't have Google Chrome already, download that, then go ahead and download this Squarespace ID Finder. It's going to instantly be put up here in your toolbar. Go back to your Squarespace site click on the ID finder and it's just going to pull up all of the page IDs, the section IDs, the block IDs. So every single block in Squarespace has a unique identification code and this ID finder makes it really easy for us to find them without having to sift through all of the code on the website. So having these IDs makes it really easy for us to target specific blocks rather than targeting a whole family of blocks. So here we're targeting the whole family, but if we copy one of these IDs, we can narrow it down to just the block. So let's say I just want to do the circle. I'm going to click on the ID of the circle. You can just click on the ID finder again to turn the IDs off. And I'm going to go back to this code and I'm going to paste in the block ID directly before the SVG. So just make sure there's a space between the block ID and where the code starts. And we're going to add one more thing. And this is just going to make it easy so we can add multiple blocks per code. So I'm going to add one open curly bracket here and one closing curly bracket at the bottom. And you won't see anything change, but this just makes it so that we can add multiple blocks up here in this first section. So let's just say now I want to target this block also. I'm going to grab the block ID, come over to where this first block ID is, put a comma, space, and paste. And now we can target both of those blocks and it's going to use this section of code. You can add as many block IDs you want to here. And let's just say I wanted a border on this triangle, but I wanted maybe it to be a different width and a different color. So what I would do is I would just copy this section of code and paste it in again. Then I'd grab my block ID, select the triangle, and add the block ID before that piece of code. So now we have these two IDs with this piece and this triangle ID with this piece of code. So here we could change the color to red and we could change the width to 20 and you'll see that it's only going to affect that block. So that is how you add a stroke or an outline to your shape blocks in Squarespace. It's not the perfect option, so just be a little bit cautious when you're using this to make sure it looks okay with all of the surrounding blocks, to make sure it looks okay on mobile. And then also I've shown you how to use that ID finder to target specific shape blocks instead of targeting all of the shape blocks around your site. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully Squarespace comes out with a better option and we can just put the border on within the shape block settings. I imagine that's something that will come out soon, but if you want a solution now, this will work for you. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, you'll probably like this one too, so definitely check that out. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.